get that. No, oh, it's nil. Suck him. I saw some of the places you'd been. The new settlers have no appreciation of craft. They'd already piled your work in a ditch. But I knew the signs to look for. The scrabble and the dirt. Those surprised splashes. And I did tell you we'd meet again. Nil. Still hunting bandits? Oh, yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the scent of the fight. But don't get me wrong. These scum are odorous. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though. Like an incense. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone name a knife? So much for small talk. Are you ready? Just don't think this means I enjoy it. Don't worry. We'll take your secret to their graves. Nil freaks me out a bit. Kinda cray cray. Might be this generation's Dexter. But anyway, let's clear this count really quick first. And let me, okay, mark these suckers. Okay, let me let me change up my weapons. Um, so I'm gonna take out my war bow because we'll be fighting humans anyway, and I think I'd ra much rather use my rattler instead. Where is that? There we go. Okay, before I forget, let's check our difficulty level. Because I want to change it to hard instead of very hard. When I hunt, it makes it less um, grindy. So, anyway, we were good. There we go. Okay, now I know I just need to load one arrow to kill them. Oh my god, I've been wasting my bows. My arrows! Oh, Jay, I keep calling them both! Okay, I can't go through here. There we go. Nice. Boys. <laughs> My boys.
Okay. I think we have to go this way. This guy's a heavy. I can't kill him silently. I don't have that skill yet. But I can get that guy. Oh. There's a lot more on the other side. Okay. I was kind of wondering, like... That's it? That's all of them? Anyway, we'll trap him in there, and if he comes out... He won't be dead. So, I need to load my trip caster. Nice. There's people in those cages. Oh, there they are. Oh, man. That's annoying. There we go. Looks like I'm clear. Ay, ay. Shit. Nil. Shit. Get in there and do your work. I see the ah. Hope I don't hear it too.
Come on, let's get those two. Hi, gosh. Okay, finally you held. Nice. Good job, Nil. Got it. Talk to Nell. Where is Nell? Those are helpful. Better though. They saw me. Ancient me. You mean a necklace? those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! Is this a mall? <laughs> oh wait, no, it looks like a ship. Or a warehouse. It looks like a warehouse. Wow, though. Wow, so creative. Happy family. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, 
good. I get it. I get. I would have red hair too. I love how her hair perfectly camouflages that. I mean, I've noticed that in the earlier episodes as well, but it's just really, it never s ceases to amaze. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. That's so fucking annoying. I'm sorry, bad word. We're good though, so we're good. Seems like they haven't been alarmed yet. Let's get this guy. Ok, 
Okay, I think we're good. These dig sites, they're massive. Okay, so we have a corruptor. a shadow hunter bow so we can use a fire you can use fire we can use fire against the corruptor Nice. Got it. Clear here. Oh, that worked.
Oh, yikes. Maybe we can... Okay. Sayang. Ah, oh, that was so good. A corruptor. That might prove a challenge. Hopefully, all of this won't hurt the him by a lot. Go away, they go away. that come on come over nice we got it can't see anything. Okay, wait, let me check out the brightness levels. Snow. It's not getting any warmer out here. Nice. Got it. We're done fighting on our side of Meridium over What have they been uncovering here?
No space. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break, be right back. Okay. There's something down there, like I can hear it. Let's try scanning it. Oh, this is the de Oh my god, a hard order, I guess. Okay, so this thing can overheat. Okay, we can hit the vents and stuff when it's hot. Cause high damage and the machine don't. Oh, <gasps> wow! My I, my heart's beating really fast right now. I'm excited. Let's do this! Another explosion. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, let's check our loadout real quick. <laughs> let's make sure we're prepared. Okay, we're good. I can't stop smiling because I'm nervous. <laughs>
kind of thought it would just be the death trigger, but it has minions, so let's load up. Okay, let me concentrate. <laughs> let me concentrate. This snow's got a bite out here. Um, let's try to snipe majority of these guys. Because it's gonna make it easier. I'm thinking we can hit the death trigger, but first we'll lay some traps because those guys will probably run at me as well and I don't I I don't want them. <laughs> we don't want those distractions. Overheating from the very start. I wonder if my game's glitching. Shoxy. Eclipse officer had a focus. It, it, it hardly punched us, Aloy. <laughs> so let us loot. Nice. 
nice mods. Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. What? Dude. I thought Hades was like a machine, but it seemed like it really had a mind of its own with a scary voice. Okay, guys, I'm back. I know I look a little bit different. I had to film this a later at a later part, a later time of the day. <laughs> that's why I look different. Let's explore. But look at this rat. Oh my god, that's such a cute rat. It's minding its own business. Oh, and it's just walking. Let's kill it. Nah. I want to show mercy. I wonder if it's going to run if we walk towards it. Oh, it did. Oh, hi. Anyway, let's go in and explore this tunnel. Looks tight, but... Bro, it's so freaking beautiful. Hold for identity scan. It's the same thing from the ma it's the same gate from the matriarch's temple. This won't work. Oh. <laughs> Wait, for some reason I thought it would be like a forest when you <laughs> enter. Kind of like... Like the movie Dinosaur, if you guys know that. Oh, Shoxy. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I'd see trees. <laughs> Duck feathers, you are 354,510 days of the for your meeting with Mr. Fair. Please proceed to the 35th film. Uh, wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. Thank you, Aloy. What's going on? Thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't have done the math. Wait, though. Okay, let's explore this part first and then we'll go there. Nothing here. This this literally looks like uh, the matriarchs. 
the matriarch's um, temple. Oh, here. Oh, shucks. Oh, the protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond wow. military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Blackcourt standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. Fudged projections. We need a way to reassert control over the Hearts team or Swarm. Hearts team. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. Okay. So I'm guessing the machines are the ones... Right off the bat, I'm thinking, wait, they designed the animals or did it take a life of its own? Wait, how come? Okay, because I mean, admittedly, they do look like animals, right? Like a bird, a horse, a, a bull. So, okay, I'm confused. <laughs> well, no, I'm not confused. I'm like, I have questions. I'm inquisitive. Map. Oh, let's check this out first. Okay, dead end. Oh, nice. where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. Pharaoh. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Pharaoh leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Pharaoh Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Okay. Okay. I'm loading. <laughs> no, but I feel like this, the statue of the world is the way it is now because of Pharaoh. I feel like they play a very big part in it. So let's. Oh, wait, looks this is activated. Welcome to Pharaoh Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. Oh, nice. Fuel command at Dane of the Indo Malay Agricultural Combined Arrival of the Legacy Refreshers to be served. Fresh ground coffee. Uh, so that happened. Called security and janitor to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually, more like thrown. I wasn't aware. Indo-Malay combined grows in the 
was repeated the other command that had add you by the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm going to drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. Okay, so there was a fight. Oops. Wait. There we go. That was weird. Why did the map look different just now? <coughs> so the right. Right. Stairs is here, so let's check that out last. What was this place? What were they doing here? Oh. Elizabeth Sobek. Elizabeth Sobek. For. 2020! Wait. Elizabeth Sobek is an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer, widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st. She started earning a BS in experimental physics and computer science at age 16. She completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carney G. Mellon University in 240. Did she over the next eight years? Her green. Her The clawback. Stanley resigned from fast for testing the company's pivot to automated military technology. She founded Miriam Technologies, Life Positive. Ooh, so she's smart, smart. She, <laughs> she's a genius. Ted Farrow. Theodore Ted Farrow, 24. Oh, wait, when was her birthday? March 11. December 24. As an American entrepreneur, world's wealthiest individual, first ever trillionaire, trillionaire. I already know something bad's gonna happen because you, no person should ever have amassed that much wealth. That means that <laughs> he being greedy. <laughs> Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, he enrolled at the University of Southern California, Los Angeles. Broke through at the end of the troubled 2030s with its popular lines of personal servitors and bodyguard bots. Line of green rows at the risk of solve the climate crisis during the 2040s clawback. At the end of the decade, by 2053, the success of FAST has made Mr. Fire the world's best known businessman, one of its most sought after speakers in a major voice in politics, culture, and international affairs. Okay. Fast. The producer's robot. Okay. So you're the culprit! Though its core business consists of military and defense contracts as of... Developed several promising robot prototypes in its early years, but failed to break into market dominated by then industry giants like General Synthetic and Recorp. This changed in 2038 with the debut of the Alfred line of levitating personal servitors, which generated exceptional sales, lifting the company onto the Fortune 50 for the first time. Profits tripled in the 2040s as the company's environmental efforts, led by famed engineer Elizabeth Soba, catapulted fast to the head of the sector. In 2049, in the wake of successful green and climate cleanup efforts around the globe, worldwide approval ratings of FAST exceeded 90, and Ted Farrow was hailed across media and social networks as the man who saved the world. Yet, it was emergence of FAST as a military contractor in the late 2040s. Record market capitalization of over 23... Dude, how... Today, it's holding exceed the largest sec the second largest corporation by three hundred twenty one percent. Okay, a corporation. Yeah, all right, me. It was a corporation, a group of people, not unlike a tribe, and they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Oh. 
Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We nah. will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication mm -hmm. velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. Even old death, so they were making machines. Then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons. Why? Wait. Wait a minute. Let's check this out first. Wait, what's this? Another cave in. But I could get through. Oh. Won't let me. Hey, are you guys seeing this? Oh, there. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> hey, reception. If that is your real name, want to know the scheduled in, though? That would be me. Research bids by 40%. Of your reception stuff will bring. What a dick. Those two sides are fighting, and what do we sell? That's right. Oh my god! This. Hey, you, that's right. Again, combat materials, they will pay us a lot of money for. Oh, God. God. This is triggering me by pissing me off. <laughs> that is. I think this should be illegal. That should be illegal, right? <laughs> Instigating a fight to boost your sales. Wait, what's here first? On this level. Okay. I know, guys. I know. Very mean. Okay, let's go. How about here. Okay. Go. <laughs> oh wait, what's this? I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Oh, okay. Looks like I can climb here. Oh, nice. Okay, so since this looks is like the way up, what's left of it? Let's go here first. Ow! The ACA three scatter combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package, designed for high speed all terrain reconnaissance. It boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass convergence systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network, 
Now that's force multiplication. Oh, like the hacking a thing. A manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. Got this one. Let's see if it's different. The BOR7 Horus. Imagine your complete mm. engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Oh. Oh, okay. we shouldn't have left. The BOR7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So what? these were farm machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. So that means- How would you ever stop them? Yeah, well, what Eli said. How about this one? We shouldn't have made the, the first one. The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. Okay, let's do this again so that we can get the data point. The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package, designed for high-speed all-terrain reconnaissance. It boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave mm. enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. Yeah, the corruption. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking hack, but. All right, got everything here. Other side. View the notebook. These are the best have sharpened my perspective on anything that I... For now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent, no cooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go to locks, make it clear, will spare no expense. Well, I would hope so, since you're a trillionaire. <laughs> Automated lock, all non-essential, high price. Okay, so basically, due to the increasing frequency. Okay, basically, something bad happened. So, 
people were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Dr. Sobek. Watch your You have too if much of those anyway. I can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. Let's go up first. Let's check it out. offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been Wow, look at that. But it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you and absolutely assure you is that I am already <laughs> devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And the day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. Oh. They were built for war, not peace. Okay, I don't know where. Oh, wait, sorry. I missed this one. My bad. It's heavy. Well, it's going light. Oh, thanks. I wasn't going to make that. There we go. Forget about traveling light. Oh, oh. oh my lit. Nice. Oops. Okay. We're full. Oh wait, that was downstairs. Okay, let's just go up here. Nice! Oh, Too bad, you already were full. Oh well. Oh, here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Nice. Oops. Ban band the sea. Oh, there we go. Bob, another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently, a fisherman the band to see capture a video of hard stigma. Biomatter conversion along the shoreline. On the pod of endangered dolphins, no less. Quite possibly the last of their kind. Not to get. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! That's how brutal the robots were? Big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin. Our suppression team has scrubbed it away. This was Stacy Anders. Ugh. Oh, it's here. Okay, not there. The way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. Oh, what's All that? Right. Made it. Wonder what we'll find. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check this out. Dude, this is far. What's up here? <gasps> oh, power cell! If I find more, I should be okay. able to get to that ancient armor I found. Last two. But wait, let's look at the view first. Look at that. Oh, I miss snowboarding. That's fun. Look at that. Okay, let's repel down. <laughs> nice. Okay, what's here first? Full oh. already. Whoa, we're above the cloud! It's so fun! I just see this. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. <gasps> I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume you're She even sounds us. like us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. Whoa. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robot? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch alone. Yeah, take it. Here. The order steak. Oh, oh, I can see that. I can see why. I can see why she would hate him because it seemed like she didn't like the weapon stuff about it when Ted wanted to do weapon, bio weapon, bio weapons, just an evil weapons. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. 
You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Oh, she piss. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. A final fellow has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. <gasps> Zero Dawn! Jesus, there has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Whoa. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. She's pissed with you, bro. <laughs> Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. Ooh. She's sassy, I like her. Oh, me. But wait! What is it? What made her solution so terrible? Maybe there's gonna be what one more. What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. <gasps> That's it? Goggle, what's up? Huh? What could be way? What could be worse than the robots, though? What did Elizabeth do? Wait, I'm, let me just make sure I didn't forget anything. Okay. Good, good, good. Right here. Good, good. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. <gasps> Do you hey, really it's have Savala! No how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. <laughs> now, why don't you try asking another question? That may be what you're saying. This is a bit more than a mumpala. Um, let's say. 
If you're, you're so, so smart. smart, why do you know so little after a lifetime scratching around in the dirt? It's not my fault you're bad at what you do. I came to these ruins looking for Elizabeth Sobek, not because of the things she did centuries ago, but because people are trying to kill me right now, today. I've got bigger problems to deal with than your crap. Congratulations. Ooh. You just graduated from whining to throwing a temper tantrum. I'm sure Elizabeth would be proud. You Is need she to get so... a grip on yourself and start thinking straight. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Sobek. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? I have questions. Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. I like how the game is basically about us finding out what Zero Dawn is and we didn't even know it. <laughs> I always just thought her as Zero Dawn was like a cool name for a game, you know? Oh, so alive? Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. Mm-hmm. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Now that's enough talking. Be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus. Risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head. And you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So Ooh. quit complaining and answer my questions. He is kind Very of well. sassy. He's too sassy. Proceed. All things considered. So, tracking You've my been focus. using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. They call it the voice! I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Mm. Who is Hades? So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom with a terrible voice. Yeah, All actually. Is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Well, you guys are nice and person. To resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. 
In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Okay, Who intention. are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? I can't get over you the fact that this is this Zavala. Personal. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An outcast? An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. Yeah! But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, don't do those they things. don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Immortality. I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyway, I can, oh, also he is the butler in John Wick, right? Silence is so sassy, very mean, but I can't not like him just because I like the actor. Anyway, I guess we're done talking Silence, so let's just click on this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. US the place Robot still exists Command. as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. <laughs> he is ready, Rude! Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. U.S. Okay, guys. I'm gonna end the episode right here. Seems like a perfect time to end because we are now gonna go to the U.S. Robot Command. And... Huh. What could be worse? I wonder what Elizabeth did that could be worse than, you know... Robots that kill endangered species. So... Huh. I wonder what she did to fix it. And I wonder why now of all time, like, people are disrupting the piece that they already know about, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna end it right here. As always, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like. Oh wait, I said that again. Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to follow me on my social media websites at Carlos.Sarah. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.